and a loving care. Yeah, my <laughs> from me to you. From me to you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks, I was very much like I want tall, <laughs> dark, tall, dark, <laughs> handsome with a green jacket and a green jacket. Hey, what a wow! <laughs> so, so, why are we exposing ourselves here? <laughs> like, I. <hey. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. If it's not so obvious how blessed I am <laughs> by the person next to yeah. me, you know. Um, I'm sure you guys know her. You, you cannot not know her. Introduce me, maybe. If but anyway, me. this is uh, Jules Geizo. She is my friend. She is a podcaster. She's a content creator. She's a journalist. And um, she's now a guest. The first that you, I think so many people suggested that you should come on oh, my channel. Is. Yeah, I asked for like a collabor collaboration list. Yeah. Like on my previous vlog. Like, how oh, she do it with Jules? And I was like, yeah. that is very easy. Little did they know. <laughs> yeah. We were like, we've been planning. <laughs> and we've been planning for this shoot for such a long time. So I'm yeah. so happy to have you here. Yeah, and I'm excited. Do you know what we're talking about? Um, well, you did tell me. Yeah. You gave me a little bit of a hint that it's gonna be something around relationships. Yeah. Something about love and relationships. Which we love to talk um, about. Which we love to talk about. Me and her is just like, all right, we have a gin and tonic, we're ready. <laughs> we're we actually we are what's ready. Been happening in <laughs> we are ready after this. Yeah. <laughs> and um yeah, because you're in your twenties, I'm yes. in my thirties. Yeah. So it was something about dating. Dating the different like dating in your twenties versus dating in your thirties. And um I was fortunate enough to have this conversation with a friend of mine, Stephanie Ganga. So now her sister Warimo decided to come up with a list for us because I didn't want to also be biased while oh, making the okay. questions. Yeah. Oh, so the questions are not for me. They're not for me. Nice. Yeah. So she came up with a list that really, really deep. I think you've just seen the questions just before we started. Quickly. Quickly. But um, that's what we're doing today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Also, she has a channel, my tiny little channel. Yeah. Tender Love and Care. Yeah. My From me to you. From me to you. But I want to That's my intro. Yeah. Welcome to my tiny little channel. Anyway, my YouTube channel is my tiny little channel, mm -hmm. which I also call my TLC, which is also known as Tender Love and Care. I guess you would say from me to you. Yeah. 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 This is literally yeah. Right. <laughs> And my Instagram is Jules underscore her. Yeah. I also just published um, a new podcast. An exciting one. Called, oh my gosh, I forgot to bring something for the podcast. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. But anyway. I have a new podcast called So This Is Love, which mm -hmm. is available on Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcasts, um, Apple Podcasts, or wherever yeah. you get your podcasts from. And I think that's about it. Oh, I'm also a part of another podcast called It's Related, I Promise, with Sharon Mashira and Noni. Yeah, Noni and, and, and the very famous Over 25. And Over 25, oh my God. <laughs> I think I started Over 25, but Over 25 <laughs> is what got me into this space. To yeah. Begin Six years ago, oh my God. Just friendship. I think even there's a time I mentioned in my video that I look at you guys and I'm just like, there's just so, there's a very raw connection that you guys have. Yeah. And even when things are not okay, like I remember when you guys published a video between you and Ivy, mm. I was just like, who would do that other than these four girls? Yeah. You know, like, I, people don't necessarily talk about that side the of beef. Yeah, of life, and even now that we're talking about dating, it's it's just really the the raw and honest truth as how it actually is. So there's no sugar coating anything. Yeah, a little, you know, a little, a little, a little, you can't little be like telling all your care it. Yeah, sometimes but, you're, sometimes, but, you're, sometimes but, but, but Steph, sometimes our stuff is it's just, too much. It's too, too much. much. No, actually, you guys, we can't even handle it. So you guys can't handle it. So let's not embarrass ourselves. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we'll try to be very honest and raw. <laughs> But very shallow as well, so that we don't also give too much information about ourselves. But um, I'm really looking forward to this conversation. And behind the camera is the one and only, call me Marina. You guys know him. He's my friend. He's my boy. He's my videographer. I follow him. He's a photographer as well. Um, and also the person who's going to be reading our questions, reading out the questions to us is my manager. We'll sit on the corner. So we will listen to the questions, then answer them as we do our makeup. Obviously, we have to do it the right way which is because okay. i'm a makeup artist 
Yeah, I mean, it and, just and, and like no up. pressure, really. Because for me, I'm a makeup artist. I'm just like, I'm so dead. Listen, we're, we're not gonna, gonna, gonna do those eyeshadows of yours. I'm not gonna do that. Like, we just do a basic look. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that shadow because I have individual lashes now. Oh, okay. So it's too hectic. So it's a very simple look. Yeah, but please God. Please more of the conversation less of the makeup. Okay. Yeah. So. But then I can also get some tips from you. Yeah. In case um, I have some questions no about problem. makeup. No problem. Yeah. No problem. The set here looks. I think I look like a makeup artist. Yeah. My stuff and your stuff. They look exactly the same. <laughs> we, have, we have similar products. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So. But you've done my makeup a few times. Yeah, I have. And sometimes I t take tips from you. So. Yeah. This is also. There's a time you've been mentioned in my TLC. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Choice. No choice. <laughs> oh, she's a fan fan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm legit. Even my tan, like the veil is on. <laughs> tan that, on that's the only way you know. <laughs> that summer is legit. Anyway, let's get right into this video with the first question. I'll start with my brows. As okay. We do that. Do you want to start? Um, dating preferences. I think this can be a whole book, a whole novel, yeah, a whole TV series, a whole movie. That's true. Um, <laughs> for me, dating preferences have evolved over time yeah the dating preferences that i had in my 20s 20s so now even now especially now because we're talking about you in your 30s yeah i think i can give a comparison then you can see whether if you're in your 20s when yeah. you're in your 20s <clears throat> you were making the decisions that i'm making yeah yeah i i think in my 20s i i i thought i had preferences yeah i had a list and everything but to be honest i never really used to follow it per se yeah because what would happen is that i have a preference i want this this and this but then when i meet somebody i just need this yeah and list. especially at that moment when you're like deep in like yeah euphoria and it's your, the, the emotions are so high and it's just last exactly. to be honest but in that moment you make end up making decisions yeah and yeah. my preferences when i was younger were just more mostly about connection chemistry and looks yeah physical Physic, physical but also like you know we have chemistry but, but now surface level emotional no it was deep because i've always yeah. been quite a deep yeah, person but the thing is it's just um right now chemistry the way i look at chemistry is not how i looked at chemistry in my 20s i hear you so when i was younger i used to feel like oh my god we have just such a, such a strong connection but like yeah. strong connection could also mean you're dating somebody who is completely incompatible with you, especially if you know anything about attachment styles. Exactly. Um, we, we, there's something to do with that. Right. So yeah. maybe just to touch on it, yeah. when it comes to preferences, like um, I had, I used to be like, I have, I, I'd like to date somebody who has this something about them. Yeah. Or, you know, and that's Even something. as you're telling your friends. You're yeah, just I mean, like, it was in my journals. I've yeah. gone through my journals and I'm like, poor girl, you, I want to go back <laughs> and meet <laughs> this young girl with her rubbish mind. Yeah. But like, like, now chemistry when chemistry when chemistry is strong at the beginning i look yeah. at it with a question mark because yeah. when you look at like attachments yes when you yes. look at attachments yeah. like, i'm anxious preoccupied i i tend to have a very Same. strong attraction to avoidance Same. um so and usually those two have a very b big chemistry yes like you know it's amazing it's oh, like, like oh my god i've met the love of my life dude every time yeah. I, the, I met the love of my life like three times in my 20s Same. i was like oh my god oh my god this is it oh my god oh my god this is it <laughs> Oh no, my God, now this one is it. I promise you guys. I promise. It's the last one. So now yeah. I'm just like, so that's what I mean about preferences in yeah. terms of chemistry. Yeah. Um, and then looks, I was very much like, I want tall, <laughs> dark. tall, dark, handsome, <laughs> with a green jacket, a green jacket, <laughs> and acres, <laughs> and acres. <laughs> and then I just like, basically, you want a rich man. <laughs> Wait, bitch, we get it. You want a rich man. We get it. We get it. <laughs> Tall, dark, handsome, successful, with a big dick, and, and, a, a, and a double man. And a, and a. <laughs> so, what were you saying? A big dick. <laughs> Tall, dark, handsome, I mean, that's, no I, kids, with a big dick. <laughs> uh, no, and a mansion. And a mansion. <laughs> successful. <laughs> acres on acres. <laughs> Don't cancel me. <laughs> with no nine to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... It would be ideal if we could get a, a person like that. Yeah. But in my life, I just haven't been. I haven't met somebody who's everything, everything, everything that Down I want. Down to everything, like because check, if, checked every box. Of course. Because yeah. If I had, I'd be with them. Right at, now. At, right now. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. That's true. I think for me, um, and I think that's that's more reason why I don't like talking about my age because more often than not, everyone around me. Are you me, a baby? Yeah, I'm a baby. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving everyone clues. 
She's but, young as fuck. Yeah. If I, but, I wish I was you at your age. Just shut up. <laughs> you know, so like, I think I find myself, um, what's it called? Thinking so much about the nitty gritty because also I think I'm, my attachment style is very similar to how I'm a very anxious person, even naturally. I think when just even before we shot this video, I was just like, I'm anxious, I'm anxious, I'm anxious. Yeah. And already in the, in the same, the same applies when it comes to relationships. So I'm just, I find myself in the past, even in the recent past, attaching people who are like avoidant. Mm. And I found that comfortable for me because then I found myself constantly being the one to reach out yeah. and calling and texting and all these things. And now where I'm at is it's just like if it's not serving me, yeah, it's easier for me to walk away now. And I think obviously it's because of the last relationship. But are you able to? I think for me now. I... Anyway, so what are you talking? About? You were about. To oh, I was gonna ask something. I'm like, but do you think you're able to? Because the attraction, the pull to the one that's not good for you is so strong. It's... Are you able to? to catch yourself and be like, oh my God, this is it. And pull away because it's very stiff. When you meet somebody you're attracted to and then and they're attracted to you to because because they're attracted to you too. And then you're just like, no, this is not for me. Yeah. Let me tell you, guy, only God it's can It's the hardest, you. it's the hardest. And I think I'm even just going through something like that at the moment. <laughs> These <laughs> bitches never lie. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey. There's, there's nothing wrong about him other than one thing that is just Something we cannot compromise on. Uh, do you want to say that again? There's nothing wrong about him as a person. The way he cheats me, there's nothing. Of wrong. course, there's never something wrong. And then, but now I think there's one particular thing, and mm. non-negotiable for me. It's not one. It's in that one. There's a, there's B. many. Yes. Even like how the, there's the a, thinking, B, C. There's, there's, there's the thinking, in. the culture, the everything is just. It's a lot, right? So I think what has happened is over time I'm able to identify it, which is something I really oh, pride okay. myself in. Yeah. So I'm able to be like, okay, so this is not something that's gonna work for me. Then we might as well just have to leave it. But at the same time, I'm now in a space where I can consciously, like I was even having this conversation with a friend of mine, and he was telling me how he knows when he's making a mistake, but he doesn't go ahead and make the mistake knowing mm. he's already gone back and forth with himself and he's decided i'm gonna make the mistake anyway is it worth the heartache it's it's not worth the heartache like yeah. even if he, and in that moment he was talking about like food choices because he's not like on a vegan mm. situation so it's mm. like you know what if i want to eat the chicken i've thought about it i'm like the chicken is not or the burger or whatever is not good for me right now because i'm vegan right but will i go ahead and do it yes Right. Yeah. And he will do it for himself. Okay. So he was still telling me about the same things like that level of self awareness, I have it. And I'm like, that is enough for me to celebrate. But at the same mm. time there's certain limits that I have because of the experiences that I've had. Yeah. So I'm just like, Yes, I might carry on with the bullshit for a bit. Mm. But it will get to a point where I'm just like, you know what? Now this is definitely not working. Okay. And it's easier for me to work out then because already I've had the thought in my head. It's not yeah. something that has just come up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wish you all the best with that. <laughs> <laughs> Six. <laughs> no, but no. No, I mean, it's better to have it's it's better to have awareness than not have awareness. Yeah, because I feel like awareness. But I is hope some... you're working towards um... fully implementing it all round. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah, and being in a relationship with somebody who is healthy for you, because the healthy relationships usually tend to feel boring. Yeah, um, that's true. Unfortunately, because now that's how we've been wired. That's true. Since our childhood, because of yeah, our, our yeah, attachment the exciting ones, the chaotic ones are the ones that we're attracted to more than. And some of them are not even chaotic, babe. You can you can find an avoidant who is such a nice guy, and I I, I know a couple. Oh yeah. Very nice. Oh, laid, yeah. laid back. You know who? But I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, laid back and just a lovely person. Yeah. But they're not able to give you what you need emotionally in the relationship that's they cannot true. meet your emotional needs they're not dickheads they're not dickheads they're not... i don't think all avoidance that's, are dickheads. True. that's I, true i i know avoidance who are actually good people and i end up being friends with them even girls yeah one of my friends she's a girl but she's an avoidant yeah and i love her energy because it's just so like i'm not here i'm not really contagious shit. i'm not yeah. gonna, you know like girl yeah. I, I like how you move <laughs> like but, don't give a shit <laughs> yeah but yeah, yeah I, I don't think they're dickheads it's also just their attachment style so that's true yeah. Compatibility. Compatibility. Is key. It's a tough one. So in terms of um preferences, I used to be very very much focused on attraction and 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 like oh, yeah. you, you like you have to oh, give yeah. me this feeling. Yeah. You know, and now yeah. I'm just like, nah nigga. Can we work together? As and if a we unit? can't can we can we can we build something? Are you able? Do you have an income? Are you? Do you have a career? I was gonna say finances. Right. For me right now, I think also 
uh, I've been fortunate enough to start like I got so I got into makeup at such a young age. So I've just been around like the whole independence, but not entirely. I think now I'm in the depths, and I was just talking to her earlier. I'm in the depths of adulthood right now, and it's all I'm talking about also on my channel because all the time I'm just like, imagine I had to pay for this. Yeah. Imagine I had to pay for this, and another thing is coming up. Babe, it's hectic. It's hectic, but and and that has it's made like me money in, money out. Like yeah, when I'm, when I'm so self-conscious right now about money, so I'm like, yeah. also I cannot afford to have someone around me, who and I'm not asking for a rich guy. It's just just have your shit working for yourself. And you mean don't you don't you don't even need me, not even necessarily you don't need me at all. Yeah. We're just co we're just complimenting each other at that point in time. And if we decide to go on a date, you're able to pay or if I've decided to take you on a date, I'm able to pay and it's not something that we have to sit down and have the waiter standing next to us because that's my pet peeve. He's just standing there and we are looking at each other as who's going to pay. <laughs> uh uh mom, no thanks. Yeah. Let's just know right right off the bat who's paying for this deal. I would really like to be in a situation where somebody is paying for the for all the dinners, to be honest. Yeah. I used to be like, no, it doesn't matter, we can split. I only used to do that. Yeah. I used to be like that. I've even paid my own. Even me, I've paid. Yeah, I've, paid I've paid, I've yeah. paid before. Oh my gosh, I really have <laughs> paid before. Same. But I don't know. I've never I would like to I'm happy to have somebody who will pay and I'll pick up a slack somewhere else. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if it's something that's come with age, but yeah. like, it's, I feel like now I'm just like, listen. If you wanna take me out for dinner, and you say let's ahead. do something on Sunday. Yeah. Let's not get there and then we are splitting after yeah. you've called me out of my house and I've and done, done my makeup. makeup. Mac makeup is not cheap. Yeah. First of all, foundation just, is not cheap. So well, really just like makeup. Yeah. <laughs> the makeup is the issue because yeah. it takes a while. I mean, it's nice to feel like you're being treated. Yeah. Like, it's nice to feel. Now, if you're with somebody and it's a, you're already in a relationship that's you guys are working towards something long term yeah and he's like yo babe can you spot me today i don't mind that is true but there has to be something there has to it has to make it ha it's not just that now this is our norm that um, now every single time you're coming through oh uh, yeah exactly. for this person yeah, yeah and i no. think i think that's a fair it's a fair game, fair game. and i, I, I would like lie i still i feel nice when somebody takes me out to dinner same that's the food here we go again what I was saying earlier was the fact that we are friends. I think I found myself around circle of, circles of women who are older than me. Mm. Because life has just... Yeah, it has... Nilifunzo no limengu for real. Nimefunzoa. So I found myself maturing faster than I needed to. And maybe, especially even as we go with these questions, sometimes I think for some questions we might have the same answers. Right. Yeah, and the same opinions because what i would ideally have done or committed to or accepted in the past even in the recent past maybe even the last maybe one year is not what i fuck with right now so, yeah yeah i think it's 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 a it's a moving yeah thing. yeah you, you're not you're not stagnant and in all honesty if your preferences haven't changed yeah over time like in your 30s versus your 20s even if you're in a marriage like, let's say you're married early yeah i think you need, you need to reevaluate. yeah um, there has to be change there has to be change because yeah. people grow yeah so even you cannot be the same person that you were yeah yeah think that maybe you you accepted at a certain time and now you're like actually i need to create a boundary here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so that's it for our pre preferences we'll go in with the next question Trauma. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> and I'm not joking, by the way. Um, it's just I used to date based on convenience. What does that mean? Like you are around. Wow. Yeah, like I wasn't really. I, I and even I talked about it in earlier in a, in a video that yeah. I didn't have a type. Like the people I've dated are very different even just outward appearance but don't you think don't i you, think but no i think not everyone has a type i think that's also a social construct yes mm. so i think over time i thought the powder is big seal <laughs> over time i found myself um based on based on the past that is and the past was just convenient it was based on proximity also mm. like i think we were, we were where you live yeah you were, we were like conformed to thinking that your boyfriend has to live in your estate for a while. Oh. I think even when I was younger, it was just like, lazima kuyapo sat patane after school, you know. <laughs> so I think even my first boyfriend was in the same court even. Mm. Yeah. How old were you, first boyfriend? I was just joining Form 1, so I was about maybe 13 or 14. But he was in Form 4. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> but I grew up with him. Yeah. 
and now he's like married and everything he has a child oh my days. yeah but it's just i think in that moment in time it was because it, he was closer to me mm. and i could see what he was up to and all these things now it's 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 i don't know i think i'm looking at where we're at in life i'm looking at even your opinions on things that are happening in my life and for me most importantly it's mental health mm. and actually that is even that's the deal breaker that i'm talking about the non-negotiable because i think the way he speaks about mental health is just very mm -mm. yeah it's just very it it, it irks me so I, I find myself even telling him don't even don't don't even say anything yeah let's just let that story go i think it really amuses me that people out here who still who just don't know they don't know they're not educated Amma, about they're like, it you pray see and this Amma, is a, a, an urban person am i gonna feel like you're being dramatic because of that don't tell me i'm being dramatic about anything i'll just <laughs> no don't do that so i think that's what was that not in in, in the present it, those are the things i'm looking at so things I'm, I'm prioritizing mm -hmm. i'm also like i even opened therapy in the in the first place even if you've never been to therapy i'm not asking you to like I'm choking you or strangling you and asking you to go for therapy. No, it's just in the event that we go through something that needs someone else's opinion, would, we, would you be open to the mm, idea mm. of having to go for a therapy session? You know, I think, and that's, and I think even for you, you're probably in the same space in, in regards to like, and have the same opinions in regards to like mental health. I think now also finances has become a thing because I am, I am fully independent at the moment. So, I'm not able to take care of anyone else other than myself. To live in myself, it's a lot. Yeah, it's 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 breaking the bank. So I think I would love to have someone who is able to do that. I would also love to have someone. Now family is big for me. So now I want someone who's also big. Big on, on family. family. Yeah. You know. So I think the things that I I, I prioritized before are just very shallow and materialistic. Now we are looking at even if you even want to talk about your childhood trauma, I'd like to know why you behave this, the way you behave. So that even I would carry it with the same weight that you carry it with, as opposed to we're sitting around having an argument and I say something insensitive and it triggers something from years ago, but I didn't know about it, you know. So I think now the, it's just very level headed, mm -hmm. if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Same. 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 <laughs> I think I said my piece. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, next question. <sighs> my attachment style is anxious, preoccupied. How does that affect my dating life? I avoid avoidance. I steer clear of avoidance because- Explain that. Um, so there's three to four attachment styles. We have anxious, preoccupied, we have avoidance, we have secure. Mm -hmm. And then I think there's one that's a very rare combination, which I think is avoidant, anxious, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, oh, I think I may be that. <sighs> well, I think maybe just take a few tests. And yeah, stuff. after I've been taking a couple of Yeah, tests. there's that. Or maybe you can talk to somebody who's um, a little bit educated, educated in that. On yeah. this, but there's a book that I read called Attached. Mm -hmm. I bought it from textbook center site. You can get there. You can get an online from all these online sh shops on Instagram. Yeah, that talks about attachment styles and it's extensive, like the tests to do them. You know. Yeah. So how that has affected my dating life is that, for one, I just try to be v to. It's hard sometimes to identify somebody as attachment style, like from the get. Yeah. You know, and sometimes by the time I realize, oh my God, this is an avoidant, I'm like, I've already developed feelings. Feelings, yes. And it's hard for that me, has to, to me before, yeah, so. to untangle myself from that situation, situation yeah. at that moment in time. Um, but I'm very aware of, of that. Another yeah. way it's affected my dating life is that I catch myself doing the things that attach, uh, uh, anxious attachment individuals tend to do which is you know protest behavior mm -hmm. there's something they call protest behavior in attachment style i'm not aware of that could you oh my god there's so many so many okay like examples of protest yeah. behavior so protest behavior is what like we would do as anxious preoccupied to get attention At oh no yeah that's um, me and it's not even it can be attention as it can be it, it, you know to get attention or to get to get noticed yeah but it's protest behavior because it's not like the healthiest way of Dealing communicating what you want to communicate so yes. maybe you want to communicate that do you know i would have loved if we actually spend the evening together right but instead yeah. of saying that when somebody tells you actually um yeah. change of plans i'm gonna hang out yeah. with my mom and dad today no you go like okay have fun 
Yeah. Or I'll talk to you <laughs> later. Or you put your phone off. Take care. Or take I care. I even block. Exactly. See, so yeah. that's because when you actually yeah. look at that, when you look at it's underneath not that, mm. other than and then you not being healthy, what you're really trying to say is, I wish we had. I wish you didn't have to cancel on me again. Yeah. So, so you have to find ways to communicate what you're. And that is a lot of hard work. It's hard work because we we no no matter how aware and woke and like uh, aware you are about your, your behaviors. Yeah. We always go to some sort of default setting. That's So that true. is like your inner child. You're reacting like your inner child. And you know, it's like sometimes when you find you start doing something, you're like, why that's so immature. Yeah. And even when you're in it, you're just like, whether that's what you wanna do, but they kudos have fun da, da, da. yeah there's so many forms of protest behavior yeah. like you know um you trying to act like you're an avoidant when you're not by ignoring not replying on time even when the whole double texting thing i realize exactly. that it's maybe so avoidant. all that is just yeah. like protest behavior or like maybe throwing a fit yeah but there's nothing going on um even if there is something going on yeah. because it's triggered by something yeah so i think how i'd say my attachment style in general has affected my knowledge of my attachment side has uh, affected how I date. Yeah. I just become very self-aware about my protest behavior yeah. and I catch myself in yeah. it when I'm doing it. Yeah. Being aware, having self-awareness, yeah. like when it's happening and being kind to yourself, like, like, oh my gosh, like this is me not, what, this is not what I meant to Say, say or yeah. do what i really meant to say is that this situation is making me feel a bit threatened yeah or this situation is making me feel worried that we're not connected anymore you know what yeah. i mean yeah so it's just having that self and awareness and it really like i was saying it it really takes uh it, it can take a jab on your ego yeah yeah you have to be very ready to deal with your ego we're so, gonna steal some of this no problem i remember uh, like at the beginning of this video i mentioned that we are gonna have similar opinions and even down to date because i think uh, i had my a recent i've not had therapy in a while so i had a therapy session on sunday nice and we are had, you still using the same therapist no i got a new one no i'm saying the one who when we were we met yeah no okay. she went on leave and she went on leave for such a long ah, time because i really wanted to use her yeah so i went to another one okay and um even as we were speaking we were speaking about um that and she asked me like what my attachment style is and i was like i'm definitely anxious like yeah. all the time i think either the relationship is about to end or there's something or wrong you're you've cheating. Done. yeah it's always i'm thinking there's something wrong and i was even explaining this to uh and this certain quote person and i was just like um i find myself constantly worrying about the future that i forget to be in the present right. and like enjoy what is happening here and now no. mm -hmm. uh, i'm just constantly just like okay so now what am i going to finish shooting what am i going to do this so like even earlier i was just like so now i'm anxious about how the video is going to turn out and but you have more, to specify there's a difference between anxious preoccupied attachments and having anxiety generalized anxiety disorder yeah they're not just because you have anxiety doesn't, doesn't mean, mean that, that you're you automatically attached. yeah That's i think for me attachment. it just happens that I, it, both you of them both, yeah, yeah. So now, when it comes to like relationships, it's that like the, what I was talking about double texting. It's just <laughs> I found myself like Mimi ni could double text. Maybe my phone is not working. Yeah. Or I delete the chat and act like I've started the chat all over again. Like it's just I could never. Even if it's somebody you're dating and you know. No, no, okay. and that is definitely not in a dating space. Oh, okay. When we're dating, I will even triple text you, okay. and I'll video call you while at it. Like, <laughs> like, like why are you not? Video call yeah, I'm just like hi. Oh my you, I've sent you a couple of messages and you've not responded. Can, you, can I see you? I see what you're doing. <laughs> so once I'm comfortable, obviously, then I, those are the things that I'm just going to communicate. Mm. So what has happened even with with um, therapy is that I found myself, yes, I am aware of it. Yeah. But by the time I, I'm able to clock it, like clock that the damage is done, mm. it's too late. And I found myself even like in the recent past, yeah. I've had to apologize for blocking someone and dealing with something very erratic. Yeah, yeah. You block. You see, you're blocking to protect yourself. Yeah, I'm blocking to protect from myself. the rejection. Like, yes. I'm like, I don't, I, I'm like, I don't even want to hear it. I don't <laughs> see it. Block. <laughs> I delete your number. Boo -boo. <laughs> Josh is looking at me. But even then, I had to call him and apologize. Yeah. Like after therapy and everything, and I had to sit down with myself. I was just like, I'm sorry that um, I handled it the way I did. However, what I was communicating was very valid. What did you mean to say by the block? No, the blocking was what I said. What I needed to say, then I blocked. But it, that's not fair. That's yeah, not fair. yeah. I didn't want saying the, what the blocking. What, what did you really mean to say? Like I'm you, done. Like me. It's, it's no, me. That's not what you meant to say. It's just, what you meant to say was I. Maybe you're scared that this is. This, you're worried about something. I was definitely worried. So that's what the blocking was trying was to do. It was what you was should have said is symbolizing. Yeah. So I'm saying what you should have done is like catch yourself and yeah. be like, 
Um, because there's a reason you sent the long text. Yes. Maybe there was no message being replied, whatever. Yeah. So you can be like, listen, I don't usually, you know, you find a way, if it's someone who you can talk to properly, like, I don't yeah. think it's fair for me to text you this long and you don't respond. Yeah. And it puts me in a place that I, I don't want to be in in this space. Yes. So I need to know that we're da da da. And even I remember, I remember. And if somebody finds that too much, that's okay. It, that's not it, for you. It's actually not for you because yeah. you're trying to communicate. Because one of the, actually, one of the things about, and sorry to cut you. No problem. They say the biggest uh, like takeaway for anxious preoccupied mm -hmm. when they're in a state of protest behavior is adopting communication, but not only communication, but it's called effective communication. Yeah. Communicate effectively yeah. what you're trying to say without trying to, you know, because sometimes you may communicate when you're trying to trigger somebody. Yeah, Even or, or highlight certain <laughs> things that they've told you about them in private. And it's just like, even that's why yeah yeah okay. you know, i don't do that but i think i yes. think i think for me i have received that you've received that so you and i think i found myself even projecting like if you, if you go down low i uh, if because i'm not the one to initiate it the person will go low first <laughs> will the person will be the one to trigger me to going lower right yeah right, but right. i would not be the one to right, right off the bat just be like oh that's why you're you know yeah. no i think that's yeah, yeah, so I think even just the knowledge of my uh, anxious style, attachment style, being it being anxious, I think it has helped me being aware. Just I think the self, which I mentioned earlier, the self awareness is something that I celebrate, because I'm like for the longest time I was just living in this bubble and I was really just neglecting the things that were right in front of me. I think mm. now being able to pinpoint them and be like, okay, so this is something we don't like. We might have to leave it behind. Are we going to leave it behind immediately? No, we're going to start small until we get there, and. That's why when I'm saying, yes, I'm aware that I'm not necessarily communi communicating well, yeah. but it's not that I'm not communicating at all. I am. Mm. Can it be more effective? Yes, it can. Mm. But at the moment, that's what I'm struggling with. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Me too. I mean, I'm not out of the woods yet. Yeah. But I, what, what it does help. Uh, oh, so, another, so how it affects your relationships, knowing your attachment style, is trying to seek out secure partners. Because yeah. that's ideally what will work best for us. Yes. It doesn't mean that if you date a avoidant, it's not going to work. It can, but let me tell you, it's just such an uphill task. It's yeah. like years, 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 and a lot of pain, torment, arguments, breaking up, making up, yeah. breaking up, making up. Before it actually because stabilizes. there's something yeah. called an anxious avoidant trap. Look it up, it's on YouTube. There's lots of videos and information oh God, out there about that. Yeah. Um, um, and then what usually happens is that in the end, according to what research says, yeah. a lot of people, even marriages that have been there for decades and decades, yeah. that are anxious and avoidant, they can still last long. But what happens is that the anxious has to forego their needs yeah. because the avoidant will not now become emotionally That's not their present. nature. So also. They're, 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 yeah. the, the anxious is usually more proactive in the relationship. And being able to like accommodate the changes more right, than the, Right, right, right. Yeah. So it's like, it's not, it might not work. I mean, it can work, but just know you as the anxious preoccupied, those things you want, like, oh, we're not close. Why are you so cold? Why yeah. do you become so cold? Because that's usually the, the thing. Yeah. Anxious preoccupied are always like, you're cold, you're distant, you're shut down. Yeah. And the other person calls, and then the avoidant calls the anxious, you're needy, you're being too much, you want too Dramatic. much for me. But yeah. now there is being needy. Like the anxious is not being needy. They're asking for things that are required in a relationship, yeah. connection, um, communication, communication. Even, especially now with the effective communication. I think that's also that's why it's the one thing that we should fill up within ourselves because that's how we want to be loved. You know, like, yeah, we have to have it first before we ask for it. Actually, my point was get a secure partner. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, uh, what they say, I don't know. I don't know. Secure partners come, we might feel like it's boring or like there's no chemistry. There's no the, excitement. Oh, yeah, like excitement, boring. But it's not. You know, boring, like you don't even need to reply a message. Yet, if you're dating an avoidant, what? Eh? You're on edge the whole time. <laughs> the actually, whole you're, time. Actually, you're not replying my message. First of all, if I see Ooh. you online, that's just for Hala. Let me tell you, dating an avoidant, I'm like, ugh. I've learned my lesson and I just pray to God I never go back down that path. Yeah. Yeah. Next question. I think for now, I think for me, what I, it's, it, I think for me, it's hygiene now. <laughs> I think people are really just, no. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think. Mm -mm. <laughs> Describe hygiene. Fresh breath. Hygiene. It's not order. just fresh. I, I don't. I'm not, we're not asking you to have uh, elite 
fragrances or colognes or whatever it's just the bare minimum even just immediately after sex can you shower before we get into bed type of thing or what me wait so you can have sex at two o'clock in the morning you want somebody to go shower and then come back to bed mom yeah i would prefer if i'm showering can you come shower with you me you shower at two o'clock in the mom, morning mom if i want to shower i'll shower i know if you want to shower you'll shower but yeah. at 2 a.m you're gonna shower yeah after sex yeah girl what like now yes in the past See, you no. just do a little bit of a spritz even that okay, even yeah, that yeah, yeah. even that i'm not i'm sometimes it may not even necessarily be a full blown, blown shower no but like at least that clean up whatever was there before <laughs> 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 that's the least you can do for me because i'm going to pee and wash and whatever my situation okay can you do the same i think that's something that i've picked up another thing is now the big one which is finances i'm just like People are really, and I'm not. I'm not against anyone living their best life. It's just, can we live our best life, keeping in mind that January kuna kaukanga. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just if we are not able to do like an alternative weekend plan because of maybe our financial situations, then let's just be real with it. I think right now people are also living in such a what? dream. Social, social media. Has social really... media has really changed people's thinking that. Mm. It just has to look like you're up to something and sometimes imagine you're just in the house chilling and it's okay to just be in the house chilling and chilling also. with a blanket it doesn't have to be a duvet which is or like aesthetically like pleasing aesthetically and, and, pleasing, yeah. and, and maybe that day your duvet has the one that is usually on your bed which is like now matching everything has gone to be washed now you have the pink one yeah. or the red one and now you can't take a picture because uh -uh, i just feel like social media should not be something that even in a relation that we should, we should argue about i've even found myself thinking that i should i would be more compatible dating someone who's not in the social media yeah, scene yeah. than someone who is because i've been in, around even influencers both male and female and i've just seen that we don't sit and enjoy the moment there it's just mm. everything is being captured and i think recently when i interacted with someone who doesn't give a shit is when i was like oh my god there's so much more to life so right. i think I think it's just the finances, social media as well, and then now hygiene. I also think that um, religion has become a thing for me, or even just any sort of belief. I wouldn't date an atheist. Okay. That's why I figured I wouldn't date someone mm. who does not believe in anything. Mm. I think it's just like, okay, so now even when I'm talking about, I hope that the universe gives me this thing, not because I'm just chilling, it's because I'm also working on it, what would you say on your end when yeah. you're working on something that you'd want it to happen? Who would you... Like, who do you call to? Yeah, I'm just like, so we can't find that middle ground. Yeah, so I think those are the ones that have just impacted my dating life okay. as a recent, yeah. I think for my age anyways, there's a rush and a need to be married now. Yes. And to look like you are settled now. So yeah. you overlook things because you're rushing you're like okay you've met you've ticked two boxes job money you're not thinking about this person's background yeah. their family relationship this individual's relationship with their yeah. family and how does it affect now your relationship that's true you know because there's different styles of relating you know what i mean i think in comparison so, to cut your horse, the, the way for you it's getting married i think for now my generation it's everyone just feels they need to be in the relationship because now there's also people in my age group who are getting married right okay now. okay yeah oh, is it? yeah so many mm. mom in the recent i think maybe six months the most most of the weddings that have been happening is mm. just my age group okay so i think not being in a relationship is something that also i think now is connecting certain groups so if you're not coupled oh, up yeah. then the singles are hanging out together yeah the singles are together the ones who are coupled up are now the ones going for branches <laughs> Sisi, when you to you must watch Netflix. I watch my job. Otherwise, you know, because it's it has to it has to be it's a it's a pairing up thing. Yeah. Yeah. So now for 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 me on this end, it's a dating. You just have to be in a stable. At least by now you have met someone you're gonna know for the next three right. years. Then marry them by the time you're in your, hitting your thirties. Yeah. You know, at this age, and I think with my mom, with my siblings getting married, it's now my mom is just like, ah, yeah, a boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Something, and mm. I'm just like. Ka, ka, ka bank account mm. you know that's where my priorities are at at the moment i'm mm. just like i'm not gonna be broke even as i'm married you yeah know? yeah but go on yeah so yeah what i think people overlook sometimes is um what's a personal what's a person's 
debt situation for example yeah. oh wow um because you know when you get married to somebody i've really never thought of that like that you know it's good to ask like what yeah. debts do you have what loans do you have because now no. we're living this nice life but come the car is on loan the, come the, Lipa, i just want to know if you are paying together or what is the plan yeah i saw you guys um, mentioned this on your video did we oh, i think i think lonzi and shiki did oh, it yeah. yeah yeah but but i i think i think you know i'm saying this because i also overlook it sometimes yeah um i like to date somebody who has an income yeah but i've also dated somebody who is not is like up and down mm. this, they have money for long and then they, they don't have money you know it disappears it, it, yeah yeah so i've dated both and usually i i can't say i'm hard i don't have a hard stop on like at no we have to date yeah because sometimes they compromise i'm like okay they are good they do this and they have a career yeah they're into maybe they're not earning what i would like them you to know earn. i want you to match at least me there's or, something yeah my ideal would be you match my income or, or more yeah Exceed no actually it. my yeah. ideal is that you earn way more than me yeah <laughs> i'm just being, being honest. honest yeah um but as a bare minimum match me or be somewhere around within there. the same range and yeah. you're in a you're doing something like that you're you, you, you know what i mean like yeah I, 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 there's I, something that you're waking up to chase to do, every single morning do, yeah, yeah not still figuring it out yeah right now i can't do still figure it out yeah in my early 20s mid 20s maybe somebody's still trying to like yeah, i think i'm gonna try photography yeah, i think i'm gonna you can accommodate careers. that of course you can accommodate that yeah now um if you're if you're trying to try things out have a backup as well like have something that you have going on because yeah i don't want to get into like a long term relationship. So that would be like I'm opening a business, not that I'm like yeah. I'm working 95 but I'm opening a business to see if it works. Yeah. If it doesn't I quit type of thing. Exactly, exactly. Um but uh, you know, money is just one of those things where I I I find it hard to ha have a hard no and say you know you have to be rich, you have to be this. Yeah. Cuz life changes. That's true. And even the person you're dating now can have money and then not have it. One month into, into the relationship they lose their job. Maybe, yeah. they, maybe they have an accident they be you know they cannot work you that's know. true so i think money is a tricky one but ideally it would be good to have somebody who has a career yeah has something that they're doing and they're still not figuring it out they have an income and they have something that comes in and they can contribute financially to the relationship that's true that's it yeah. so i think sometimes we tend to overlook that i think another thing people overlook is um and i just want to reiterate it is family relationships yes what kind of relationships does this have a person have with their family yeah um is it a negative relationship is it a toxic situation and if it is toxic because not everybody uh, nobody chooses their family that's true people end up in relationships with, you know family members that can be quite toxic that's true but is this somebody who like they're doing their work when somebody tells me they're in therapy because of this i am like oh it's a turn on it's a turn on it's like that's <laughs> it's, amazing. it's absolutely that's it's amazing a you know yeah like yeah like you know, my dad yeah, my yeah. dad can be a bit toxic or, or you know my mom can be a bit overbearing um and she's probably going to transfer that energy to you once you become my wife and you become yeah. the mother of my children yeah. so this is how we're dealing with it so yeah looking about looking looking at how somebody was brought up how their family dynamic is i think it's important to try and peep and see yes and see if you can and accommodate that. how do yeah. they spend holidays how do they spend christmas do they even celebrate the holidays yeah. or birthdays or yeah those small small things yeah those small small things i think can build up into arguments yeah. but i think more than more so i think it's nice to date for me i'd be prefer to date somebody who there's a lot more similarities in upbringing um ideologies family religion and family yeah. family relationships yeah Next question. No. All the time. Aye. Is that Come a question on. or an yeah. answer? I have seen a red flag. It's totally green. <laughs> we Absolutely. can figure it out. Yeah, yeah, babe. I'll walk through. Yeah. I'll walk with you in this journey. Absolutely. So now my I'll, I'll start. <laughs> and I'll start. And, and you just laugh, but you, she even knows the story. Hey, I know the story. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she said, "Hey." <laughs> anyway, I think for me, I noticed uh, uh, bits and pieces of abuse in different forms, and I think it started with emotional abuse mm. that I ignored, especially because I was not knowledgeable when it comes to what emotional abuse is. I thought abuse just has to be physical for the longest time, so there was bits and pieces of emotional abuse. And then there was psychological because um, I'm also I think for me I found myself so, so much 
in my head about when I was in that relationship. So there was that psychological. I think, um, what else? Um, just when people brush off your feelings, like you've just not said something, and I think yeah. that is part of emotional abuse, just different examples of it. So I think for me, those are the ones that I saw and ignored. I also saw some, you know, I think, would I call it patriarchal things? Like patriarchy, when they men think that a woman should, and I'm, I'm not ad against the whole submitting and being a wife and all these things, but not on a girlfriend budget. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be cooking for the homeboy. Yeah. Yeah, not at least not every day. Like there's one time I'll wake up and I'll be like, you know, today you deserve a meal. Yeah. That I will take time to prepare. But it's not something that you should be expecting. So I think when I realized that um, certain expectations and they were being projected on me, so I'm less of a woman because I'm not, mm. which is also still abuse in, in in some form. Yeah. Yeah. Um, red <sighs> flags I ignored. Um, I mean, this is hard for me to even like admit. I know. It's hard. I, I ignored know. red flags. I ignored. This is yours. Um, I'm trying to think. What was the red flag? I don't know why I'm blanking. I, oh, you have two? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have two. Oh, this is my Um, red flags. I ignored. I definitely, um, So somebody just doing like a micro ghost instead of like a real ghosting, like oh my god, I should have said that as well. Like yeah. somebody who like you 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 you're talking and then all of a sudden you send them a text like you normally do and then they don't reply until like eleven p.m. and you send the text maybe at eleven a.m. Yeah. Um and then it's like oh you know we were with the boys we were ni 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 and I'm just like no, okay cool so no pressure, I have but the other day you were calling me at midnight yeah. Um, and then maybe some behaviors around like alcohol consumption. I think Nairobi, like oh there's God. a lot of people drinking unhealthily yeah. and not drinking responsibly. I don't know if it's stress or what's going on. So just seeing those things and then kind of ignoring and saying, I see we're all having a good time. Yeah. And then it's like, no, this is, this could be a problem. Yes. Um, and I think when you date people like that, you, you also find yourself. Um, consuming more alcohol because you, of the need to accommodate them. At least for me, that's what has been in the recent past. No, I think what me, I think uh, alcohol is such a trauma thing for me, like over over indulgence. So yeah. I, I did this thing of trying to change them. Like we need to go on a break, or we need to just do this, do this. Yeah. Like you don't have to drink. You know, why can't we just wait till this the weekend or whatever? Yeah. So not me. I was the opposite. I'll just say yes. Oh and we'll go no, the, I hate yeah. waking up with hangovers in the in the middle of the week. Like I just find it such a it's an inconvenience. It's such an inconvenience. And I, I have. I, I just don't like it. So yeah, I think the, some of the red, that's some of the red flags I would ignore would be that um, just like change of behavior, like maybe on the weekends because maybe you have a side piece, and oh my I'm god, just like I'm really not attentive. I'm just like yeah. oh well, maybe he really just wants to hang out with his boys, but it's like I've dated somebody else who is Did the having same fun with their boys, but I'm not feeling insecure. Yeah. Because there's some mild reassurance that like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be here. Oh, we just got here. Have a good, I'll, I'll call you in a few. Yeah. You know, but and you'll go to bed vizuri yeah, knowing. Yeah, but when, I, when I'm in a relationship where I'm on edge, nowadays, I, I used to always like doubt my feeling on edge. Yeah. I talk myself out of it. But now when I feel it, I'm just like, yo, I, That's I your sixth sense. I'm not going to do this. Yeah. I'm not going to do this. I, I've gone through sense. way too much and learned way too much to find myself here. Again, but yeah. unfortunately, with red flags, it's like I can't say I'm a pro. I still find myself ignoring certain things because it's a slippery Same. slope. You know yeah. why? Or rather, it's like a tightrope because sometimes some of these things can be worked on yeah. in relationships. And especially if the person that is pro like projecting these red flags yeah. is is not aware of their actions yeah. and they're willing to like accept and change it. Yeah, there's usually that room, but it's almost like like maybe 20 10 percent exactly. of people i think yeah. one of the red flag i've just remembered is now this thing of family relationships like um somebody who, like, i remember there's this person i dated and you know like maybe their family was i used to feel like their family is too much on their case yeah like, about like what they're doing yeah about what they're doing yeah. and stuff and i'm like man this guy needs to give this, this person a break yeah but then over time it's like oh my gosh that's actually is it's a problem that they have maybe not being accountable or reliable yeah. you know so oh, so now they need their family to keep them 
So the family, yeah, so the family, maybe the sisters or the brothers are like, like the brother will be like, I no, 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 I can't let you do this or go with my car because the other. Yeah. And then it's like, Mazi, these guys don't trust me. And I'm like, that's not fair. I'm there supporting my boyfriend. And Kumbe then, he's probably crashed into a car. Yeah, before. like he has, yeah. he has like tendencies of doing yeah. something that's funny or just not being reliable or trustworthy with yes, money or people's yes, money. Yes, yes. And then now later, that was a red flag I ignored. But now I'm just like, oh my gosh, I became the same person where I'm like, I cannot trust them with my yeah. thing i'm doing the same thing that i was even in your car you cannot trust yeah them in your car. like i'm yeah. doing the same thing that initially you were like defending him yeah you against get it? his family yeah. yeah so man red flags I, I i find them hard to like to listen to yeah because there's always that like is this something that's workable or is it a deal breaker and also for me what i found myself doing recently is Thinking is am I overthinking <laughs> or am I just being like healthily paranoid? Mm. You know, like is this something we can work on? I'm, I'm just hitting my head yeah. like I usually am, and yeah. I'm just here thinking that probably he's gonna kill me, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he's just you know like you just never know. So I think also therapy has therapy just has helped figure out a couple of things in life. Yeah, yeah. Next question. <laughs> I would date somebody who. <sighs> <laughs> I would date somebody who earns less than me, but it's like I have a. It's like there's a there's, there's a, a limit. I know there's a timeline. I by this time, or oh, you better have caught her six months. <laughs> <laughs> I six would months? because you can date somebody who is like you know really good amazing. For you. Yeah, but, but I've just not I'm figured. Not saying, it out. Listen, I'm not gonna. I don't want to be. I don't want you to be on your mama's couch. Be like I'm figuring things out. You know, this, but, this but the band is gonna. The band is gonna make it. I'm not gonna do none of that. There's um, levels. Um, let me just check the time real quick. Yeah, seventeen thirteen. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. But you know, if you have a job, yeah, and there's, I know women go like, don't date potential. Listen. I don't know. Maybe I'm the one who needs to change, y'all. Like, but I would date somebody who has less money than me, but they have to have an income and they have to have a career. They have to have a job. Something. Yeah, and I feel like, to be honest, is I I have done it before, and but I usually feel like there's a limit, nigga. I think I have as well, and, mm. uh, and that's what I'm saying. I think also just a PSA. <laughs> we are very emotional and mushy mushy and lovers of love yeah. on this side so once you start feeling like the, the love is creeping up on you then the senses are just leaving <laughs> your system in the same frequency if you're being honest mm. so i think now for me i have dated broke guys before even oh, when I was, me, yeah, me, 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 I'm just like in my young early 20s when I was just started working at Mac and I'm getting that a small 30k. Mm. But people my age are not getting money. So I'm like right, obviously right, the one right. who's more financially stable-ish yeah. or having an income. I was even stable, just having an income. So I have these people who've not had an income when I had. Mm. But now I'm in a space where you just have to have something going for yourself. Um... I don't even, it's not even a thing for what I want the money to be spent on me, but I do. But it's not like the basis of the decision. It's just like to give me peace that not one day you wake up and be like, I've been kicked out of my house and I want to live at your house. Nah, bro. We're no, not gonna do that. no, that one is just Wahala. Yeah. So uh -uh, uh -uh. there's levels. There's I don't limits. want to have to change my lifestyle. Like to accommodate, to accommodate you. you. No. So whatever you're earning, even if it's less, we still need to be able to go to the places. Dates, whatever. Go. Yeah, not at now. We yeah. can't eat here because it's you paying. No, that one I can't do. And I did it and I tried. Yeah. And I loved this person. And you went to the... But fuck, I wish money didn't have to be such a... F I honestly wish. Yeah. But money is a means to an end. Money provides opportunities. Money gives you freedom. Um, safety it gives you safety yeah it's just so for me it's just like the things i'm just like um i don't want to adjust i don't want to adjust downward yeah you know um considering you know life is like but i am open-minded like yeah. to see like okay where are we going with this yeah and, and if and, there's and, hope and you need to know that there's there's i need you to to match me and we need to go up we need to earn more yeah i can't I, I i don't think i can do it long term i think I'll, I'll grow some resentment so i don't know if that's work that needs to be done on my part in terms of like changing my i feel like no i feel like it's just the fact that already you're able to extend that grace by being available 
till but isn't he that tries. Just patriarchy? Yeah, I feel like it is. I feel like it is to some degree. Yeah. But it's just not going to be sustainable for you. You know, like you'd be going out of your way mm. in the name of love to try and you know just make things happen and they're not working. If they're not working, they're not working. That's something yeah. like the the trying is there. You can try it. But it gets to a point when okay now maybe you're doing shopping or you're <laughs> the one fueling his car. I beg pounds. Yeah. Yeah. No, you need to be able to like fuel my car. I mean, I like when somebody sticks to my car and then I come back and the tank is full. That is the new love language. <laughs> what? It's Don't show me roses, buy me fuel. <laughs> with this, with this fuel with this prices. Economy. Hey. I just feel right now when I was on my way here and I'm just like, oh, hala. One bar's already gone, just mm. like that. Mm -mm. It's hectic. Yeah. Go ahead. Next question. Um, I haven't tried to change anyone. Um, not change them. I've tried to change their period. If that is the same thing. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm, I used to be those type of people who'd say, <laughs> <laughs> I used to be those type of people with this particular person as well. Mm. Until um, I just realized over time that this is who they are, especially because I put other factors into consideration, how they were brought up, how where they are right now, maybe their work environment, their routines, what they consume, the things they watch. I'm like, this cannot be something that I will take up as my load. In, I think I did it for, for a brief session where what you said, like with the alcohol thing, where you try to change someone. And then I realized it's not for me. So I think the sooner I realized that, that's when it ended. So I can't say that it's even something in the, it's something that happened in 2017, 2016. Mm, yeah. Mm. But since then, it's just like, okay, it's not working, it's not working. Bye. Peace. Yeah. Um, I used to be very resistant to that when somebody says don't try to change somebody I'm like yeah um, I don't try to change anybody but when I actually thought about it later this is like a realization I probably had in the past two years yeah I have tried to change somebody yeah but I don't know I'm doing it I don't know I'm going in to try yeah. and change somebody yeah. I think I'm just trying to adjust behavior so I, I, I would be I'd see somebody and I'm like I know this doesn't work for me yeah but what I do is try to be like okay can we you know, you, you try and change their behavior. Yeah. You know, so that it can suit something that's comfortable for you because it's just a small part you're trying to change. You're not changing so, everything. Yeah. So yeah. I have I have I have tried to change and I think that I know what the question said, do you think it's possible to change somebody? Now I don't think it is possible to change somebody, but I do think it is possible to influence change. Oh yes, somebody absolutely. you can help if somebody has something that they are struggling with, or you know maybe they're overeating. That's just something simple as yeah. how they consume food. Somebody is not active, maybe exercise wise. Yeah. You cannot change them and make them a gym rat, but you can help and influence that by you know whatever you whatever tactic you have. We are yeah, just, we are, we are, we are, we're going vegetarian. We're going vegan. Let's walk at least once a week. You can try, but at the end of the day, it has to be a decision that they make on their own. And they're yes. like, whoa, this is beneficial for me. And most times, they'll even call you and say, but the Jules, you remember that time you told me to do this and this and this? Mm. Imagine I've come to a place where now I'm doing it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You know. So it's possible to, to cause change, but if you're trying to change somebody's nature, as you Attitude, stop being so argumentative because you're so argumentative. Stop having a quick temper or or stop drinking the way you're drinking. Actually, let's only be drinking once a month. You sleep so early. Yeah, you know, you know that... those, those, are, those are things it's like now you're really trying to change a nigga. Yeah. Um, and it, so so I think what you, need, what, what you need to ask yourself is if everything in the relationship you're in was to say the same, yeah. would you be good with that? That's when you'll be like, oh, oh hey. Kobe, I've been trying to change this and that and this and that and this it and that. Makes a lot of sense. Mm. Mm. You get? I like it. Mm. I'm just gonna sit here and look at how cute I look. Yeah, we look really nice. You ghosted me. <laughs> like he's missing out. <laughs> Period. 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 I've been Hell yeah. Same. I think it's only one person who's 
it has ghosted you. me. No, it hasn't ghosted me. I was thinking about ghosting. Yeah. I've had relationships that haven't worked out because somebody's acting And then we just stopped talking. Because ghosting doesn't just mean that because a guy has ignored you for one day and then you be no. and you have a fight. Ghosting no. is, you is, that, is gone. You will never see the person again. You might see them again, but like they've actually just ghosted you. Oh, and you know the other day I was having a conversation with a male guy. At a male guy. A male. <laughs> <laughs> a male female? A male. Anyway. This was so, yeah. You got a dick and a big ass and a big ass. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Is it me coming? Let's go with the big ass. I don't mind. Acres and acres. Don't cancel me. <laughs> anyway, and they were saying how in their past they used to just hook up with people, like, because they were single, so they'd hook up with people and sell them the world. Must in the club. Literally, I will I will even marry you. I love you. You're everything that I've visioned. Fuck those niggas. And niggas who play the love card. And then they are and then demonic. Demonic. And I used to, and I, when I was told this story, I was just like <laughs> shocked. So now apparently even after like the date, and of course after the club, they go to a hotel room, have yeah, sex. Yeah. So and telling you this? Yes. Oh my and God. and when they meet this person, they mm. act like they don't know them. Oh my! Because he has money and a big dick and and a double man and a main bag. Yeah, because he can. And I was just like the trauma that you've left all these women. Okay. Me, I believe in karma. With. Yeah, but it's just ghosting. Ghosting. I think people there's a time. I think when right now it's people actually a form of emotional abuse, isn't and it? yeah, it is, and I, I feel know. like people have have now romanticized it, like in a, yeah, because some people, at me, I ghosted her, like it's like something now you can oh, proudly speak. Oh, that's what young her. people are doing. It, yeah, apparently, well, you know, yeah, but I have been ghosted. I have ghosted as well. Yeah, and I think it's it's. I think you know, like once you go through a breakup and you're just in a space where you don't, you're feeling numb, and I think that's when people are coming at you. It's just that you're fresh in the market, so they're coming everywhere. They're trying to date you and all these things, and I'm just, yeah. I found myself leaving a lot of conversations hanging because I'm just like, it's not working for me. Mhm. So I, now that I think about it, I don't think I've been ghosted, mm. but I've had a nigga switch up real quick on you, like. Zero to hundred. Let me tell you, Pillow Talk was. I was. I knew his whole family tree. I knew <laughs> Not about the his family trauma. tree. <laughs> I knew about his mom had died. Oh no. When he was. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that because that's what he used to 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 yeah you know, to fuck with my mental. The mom died of. I think it was a cancer of sorts, and he's like, you know, da 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 da, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, and yeah yeah yeah. Uh-huh. And then my dad did this, and then I was this happened to me, and I'm telling you, we, you know, we, we've been fucking the whole weekend. <laughs> then a few like days, like a week or two later, he just I wouldn't say ghosts, but like it's like he was not there anymore. Switch of energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch of energy, like maybe like because I would I used to do most of the texting, you yeah. know. So he just like go quiet. So I'm like, hey, you're you're right. Nothing. Hey, are we good? Yeah. Then he replied after two days. Hey, sorry, I say I've been busy. And I'm like, this is not the same energy we had in the bedroom last weekend. Mm-hmm. So You're calling my name and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> when was this? This was like five, year, four years ago, five years ago. You know, it's so funny because I just thought about this guy yesterday. Mm. Actually, I just thought about him yesterday. Yeah. And I was like, that nigga actually did did me dirty. dirty. Yeah. And I didn't I didn't have a heartbreak, but I remember it stung. Because it feels like makes one. you yeah. feel like there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Like what did I do to make this nigga just like disappear? And of like course, that? you know, in that moment, you're not gonna think about maybe there's something going on in their lives. You're just gonna be like, it has to be a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So I know, like a year after that or two years after, like like maybe during the pandemic, I would say. Yeah. The beginning. He, yeah. Like in the middle, of, I know he, he called me and I was surprised. I was like, the fuck is this nigga calling me for? It just shocks. Just call phone calls. Yeah. Not for me. It's no call ID. Right. All of them are blocked. Oh, okay. No, I didn't block him because we, we, we used to, we were running the same like professional circles yeah. at the time. Mm. So we'd end up in, I, I needed to do some stuff. Yeah. I mean, we never, we didn't work together after that. Yeah. But like, we, I just couldn't block him. Yeah. Let me just say that. So I'm like, the fuck? So I pick, I'm like, hello. So he just, he, I can't remember whatever, but he's just, he basically apologized. Yeah. And he was like, he called me to ask for a favor. Like a, like a, like uh like uh like Cut yo, the do you have 
Hmm? Cut the cameras. Dead ass. You don't know yeah. what I mean? No. What the fuck? It's a young piece. I thought the camera was being cut. <laughs> cut the cameras. Dead ass. Just relax, okay? Is that a meme as well? Yeah, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. You know what? Moving on. Anyway, yeah, mm -hmm. so he just, I think he was asking me, like, a favor or for. No, he wanted somebody's number. No, he a babe? No, 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 it wasn't a babe. He oh. wanted somebody's number who he knew I had uh, affiliation with. I, you know, somebody was very, very rich with a big dick and a blah, blah, blah. So he needed something. And I was like, first of all, you have no. I, I don't know. I called him out. I'm like, you can't be fucking calling me for that shit. You know, the last time yeah. we spoke, but he was like, actually, I don't even need that number. I needed that to use as an excuse to start talking. To start talking, but I just wanted to apologize yeah. for what I did to you. And I was like, why did you do it? Why did you call me out of the blue? Yeah. I honestly cannot remember what he said, but yeah. I know he said sorry. But it meant nothing because yeah. it was almost like a year later. Yeah, we've already moved on. We've already moved on. Yeah. Um, and I, I've had that. Like I've had two niggas apologize to me. This this nigga now we both know. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. the one who was mm. in my life. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I told you how he, just like mm. how this one time he I didn't tell you how he apologized. Mm, he you did. And I'm like, so you have it in your psychology to say, to know that. But you just want to take a year. Oh, like six yeah, months. that was like a year. That was like two years. Yeah. His was two years. Like it was last year when he yeah. was like, "Yeah, man, I just want to say I'm sorry for what." I'm like, so I wasn't crazy. Yeah. So you are acting weird. Yeah. He's like, and I you're know. aware of it. Yeah, because he made me feel like you're just being dramatic. I'm being dramatic, yeah. or like and like, dramatic Kwanzaa. Don't throw around that word. Mm, the way you want. I don't think he said I'm being dramatic, but he's just like, 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 like what was the fuss? You know. And so I was like, okay, maybe I'm overthinking. Anyway, and then that relationship ended. Yeah. So I wouldn't say I've been ghosted, but I've been mistreated and I've been made to really doubt my myself yeah. and my reality and my worth. I was gonna say because worth, that's what yeah. ghosting does. I yeah. think it can really, really, really fuck it, up with your psychology. So and your self esteem. Honestly, if you're thinking of ghosting a babe or thinking of ghosting a guy, please just find a better way to, to, to communicate to, it. To, to 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 exit the situation. Yeah. I would say find a way to, better way to exit the situation because you can really affect somebody badly Long and it term. affects them badly. So now it also affects my relationships. Mm. Where when I see behavior that are similar that to is similar, those, I'm like, oh my god, they're about to do something, yeah. and they aren't. And just, then you leave before. Now me, what I do when I sense those things, I leave. Behavior. Yeah, I'm just preoccupied. I leave, leave before they. I leave before I'm left. Yeah. Just know that's that. Yeah, fair. You need to. You need I'm to work on it. Work yeah. on that, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. yes and uh, i'm gonna leave i'm gonna give you the link to this video i talked about my online dating experience when i was in england yeah. that's the only time i did it here when i came back to kenya i tried to do it and i met a lovely guy but yeah i think i ghosted him oh gosh <laughs> okay i ghosted that guy and let me tell you this guy was a good guy now i know i was running away from a secure person yeah he was so stable so present and i was just like i'm not used to yeah. this this is like giving me the eek yeah but and he was hot, babe. Yeah. I mean, he was okay. He was hot. <laughs> okay, he was hot, but he was a bit heavier. But anyway, he was he was. He's okay. He was good. He's he was good, good looking. He had a job. A, a job. job, baby. He had money. Like he had with a, a career. Day, with a he -he. Yeah, he had a career. He was compassionate. He used to do like outreach programs. Like you know. And I was just like, now I look back and I saw him post because uh, I still follow him. Yeah. You know, I, I I saw him post a picture with his girlfriend at the beach and he's like carrying her doing that cute carry and then the leg is like, that what you want that's what i wanted thank you but i couldn't I identify it again. Back. i yeah. just let me tell you hey before you get to a point where you know this thing yeah it now if, I, if, if a partner like that comes to me i don't run yeah i don't run i don't run i'm yeah. able to feel so comfortable in yeah in peace stillness yeah and you know yeah. all this is just always goes back to childhood yeah it does yeah it does everything is just related to how you were raised yeah i have tried uh dating apps because i've gotten three brides in the past maybe one year who've met their partners on dating apps and i remember even when i was because i tend to ask these questions I'm like, how, did, how you did you meet and it's just babe you should try bumble it's the best and, okay we might meet that but um Why? i don't know are we not promoting them? Is that so, about them? Okay. So try Bumble. Yeah. So now they're just like, try Bumble. I met the love of my life there. And it's, it's, it's things that I think 
um the quality that they have of the, the quality of the people that they met on tinder it's just things that we want i think every every boring person quote unquote is probably on tinder looking for the other boring partner i guess mm. but because we were so like i don't know conformed to thinking that it said that i met my the love of my life in the club so now there was a phase where you just go to the club thinking today's the day i'm gonna kiss someone in the rain but nah yeah, yeah. oh my god i kissed somebody in the rain babe that's and so romantic me. <sighs> i think i've been ghosted babe oh it's okay yeah yeah it's the same it's the same it's the same nigga damn same nigga. you see it's i'm still traumatized it's like four years later yeah. and i'm just like yo i was played a yeah good one. but and it's then okay. the, the worst thing is that it was a reference it's a friend reference because like i, was, I asked my I father, feel like you guys would be good together type of thing no it was one of those where i was asked i'm like is this guy is he is he legit like yeah. is he just gonna is just easy a fuck boy yeah. and she's like babe this guy i would vouch for him for my own sister <laughs> and this is a girl who like i value her opinion yeah so me i went in deep diving <laughs> and especially when i get a confirmation from your friend so like say let's come to the wedding and the because it's happening and then she just hits the fan. Yeah. But, but it's okay. We live in land. Yeah. Healed and I'm just yeah. like good for you. It's great. So um I would like to say thank you obviously to Jules Kaiser for making time to be here shooting this video um big shout out to warimo the poet for coming up with the questions a big shout out to josh behind the cameras you're doing an amazing job honey and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video um definitely gonna have her back if you don't they want me back just shut up she's definitely gonna she's definitely gonna be here so um let, even let us know what you'd like to, us to talk about probably in the next video that we have a chance to shoot yeah. yeah yeah and i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and share and don't forget to subscribe to my tlc so this is live podcast follow her on jules her and over 25. peace bye